So y'all, Anthony Anderson's wife filed for divorce after 23 years of marriage and everybody is losing their minds over it. But it looks like she had a good reason to file and girl, it is all shades of crazy. Anthony Anderson is one of the main stars of the hit series Blackish, as well as the spinoffs of Grownish and Mixedish. While his character on screen has a happy marriage, it looks like that's not the case in real life because Alvina, his wife for almost 23 years, is now filing for divorce. Now before we get into the reason for the divorce and all of that stuff, let's take a moment to talk about how they met because I think that their love story was so cute. Well, at least the beginning. So Anthony and Alvina both attended Howard University in the 80s where Anthony was studying theater arts and Alvina was pursuing a bachelor's degree in radio and television. What's interesting is that even though they had at least one mutual friend, they never met until Anthony's second year at the university. According to Anthony, he had a friend named Stacy and he went to her apartment to invite her to an event. Stacy was not at the apartment, but another woman was, and Anthony gave her the details of the event. Stacy could not attend the event, but her friend decided to go, and that friend was Alvina. She hung out with Anthony at the event, and after, they soon fell in love. How cute is that? But Anthony lost his university scholarship in his junior year and had to drop out of school. He moved back home before moving to Los Angeles to pursue a career in acting, because he had some experience from his time in college. Alvina, on the other hand, had graduated and was working at NBC. Anthony's acting career didn't take off immediately and if you know anything about the entertainment industry, then you will know that it is incredibly hard to get a big break. Alvina was super supportive of Anthony and she stuck beside him even though he was struggling financially at the time. Things started picking up for him when he landed his first big role on the NBC sitcom Hang Time. Later they had their first child, a girl named Kyra, in 1996 and their second child was born a boy at 1998. In 1999, they celebrated celebrated their 10th anniversary and then decided to take things a further step by getting married on their anniversary. Seriously, like how cute is that? Soon after they got married, Alvina quit her career so that she could be a stay-at-home mom and take care of the kids in the family home. This was a huge sacrifice for her because she had already worked very hard and had so much going on in her career, but she gave it all up because she really loved her kids and her husband. In an interview with BMWK, Anthony revealed just how much he valued Alvina's sacrifice saying, but she does as a stay-at-home mom, just like all the other stay-at-home moms and dads across the country, is invaluable and unquantifiable. And I applaud her for putting her career and her life on hold to help out with our life. It's an ultimate sacrifice that these stay-at-home mothers and fathers do. Things went well for the family for a couple of years until different women started leveling accusations against Anthony. And I'm pretty sure you guys know the kind of allegations that I'm talking about here. The first allegation was by a female extra on the set of Hustle and & Flow and in her police report, she claimed that she had been violated by Anthony and Wayne Witherspoon, who was the assistant director. She claimed that she had been lured to a trailer where she was mistreated. She claimed that Anthony and Wayne had forcibly taken off her clothes, violated her, and they took photos of her when she wasn't wearing any clothes. Witnesses reported hearing her scream, and then they had gone to the trailer and unlocked it. The victim then ran out of the trailer without wearing any clothes, and here is the picture of the court document. And the victim's name has been blurred to protect her identity. She took Anthony and Wayne to court, but the case was thrown out of court because the judge claimed that there was no probable cause to try the case. But this was not the only time that he was accused. In September 2004, he was accused by another woman for making lewd and unwanted statements to her, if you get my drift. She also claimed that he tried to get physically intimate with her without her consent in his dressing room on his show All the Anderson. But for some reason, the case kind of just went away, and we never heard really much about it again. Many people believe that he chose to settled with the woman out of court and she let the case die. Then again in 2018, reports leaked that he was being investigated by the Los Angeles Police Department for allegedly violating a woman yet again. Seriously, what's going on y'all? What's going on with Anthony? I kind of find it hard to believe that all three women were lying. I'm not saying that he did it. Let's be very clear. I'm not saying that he did it, but I'm also not saying that he didn't do it. And I'll leave that to you guys. The case was dropped by the LAPD for lack of evidence and he was charged. Throughout all these allegations though, Alvina stood beside him and stuck with him, but not exactly throughout. You see, they separated in 2014 and she officially filed for divorce in 2015 and she stated irreconcilable differences as the reason for the divorce. She also asked for spousal support and primary custody of their son who was 15 at the time. At the time, there were so many rumors that Alvina filed for divorce because Anthony had cheated on her with actress Kat Graham. Kat was quick to shut down 
the rumors on Twitter saying, Gary with the T, just saw your post about Anthony Anderson. Thanks for the laugh. I fell out. I don't even know the guy. So the rumor kind of died down after that. And we all believe that the marriage was truly over. But then Alvina made a massive U-turn and filed to have her motion of divorce canceled. They got back together and lived kind of happily, but not ever after, because Alvina just filed for divorce a second time. Alvina recently filed a motion for the court to grant her divorce from Anthony. And like the first time, she is requesting spousal support as well as for Anthony to pay her attorney fees for the legal proceedings. She also listed irreconcilable differences as the reason she's seeking to get divorced. Reacting to the news of divorce, a fan said, is Anthony Anderson's wife gonna actually go through the divorce this time? Girl, this is the question that we're all asking. This fan commented, Anthony Anderson divorce is a major L. Some fans also think that there is something going on between Anthony and his blackish co-star Tracy Ellis Ross and that they may be romantically involved on the low. This fan said, I don't know why Anthony Anderson's wife filed for divorce, but him and Tracy do seem pretty close outside the blackest roles. And this person tweeted, I would not be surprised if Tracy married Anthony Anderson once his divorce is final. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not gonna be surprised if these irreconcilable differences turn out to be reconcilable and she withdraws her motion. I mean, it has happened before, so what's to stop it from happening again? It is totally normal for people to file for a divorce then change their minds halfway through. We're humans and it's only human to change your mind about big and important decisions like getting married or getting a divorce. But Anthony has now replied to her motion for divorce and from the looks of things he is not going to be putting up a fight or even struggle. According to court documents he listed their date of separation as February 25th 2022 and also listed irreconcilable differences as the reason for the divorce. He agreed to pay spousal support but requested that the exact amount be determined at a later date. He declined to pay her attorney fees. However, he requested that they each pay their respective attorneys out of pocket. Now, neither Anthony nor Alvina have come out to publicly talk about their divorce. And honestly, I don't expect them to because they don't owe nobody no explanation. However, a source close to the couple revealed that things have been strained between them for a while and they had gotten kind of distant from each other. This is the reason that the marriage fell apart after they had been together for 33 years and married for 23. I hope that they take whatever decision that they think is best for them and that they are both happy. Meanwhile, check out this other video for some more messy celeb drama.